that will be starting in just a minute. I'm uh, chowing down on a piece of cornbread left over from last night. But I'll be right there. This thing seems like she really likes the uh, sunroom, the big tree in the sunroom. Mm. You can't quite reach all the way around me. I lose some weight for you, buddy. All right, well, I tried. Uh, he's probably not quite bad enough for me either, but that's all right. So, Good morning. It's Saturday. We're starting about an hour late because I thought I was going to sleep in this morning. I thought the errands I had to run this morning were going to hold me up. And it turns out that uh, we could have started at 10 o'clock, really, but that's fine. I used the intervening time productively. I figured it was too late to make a last minute change for anybody since we announced last night. Um, news this week. Hang on. Uh, news this week's mostly about the kids upstairs. These guys are fine. They're doing great. It is about time for me to start asking for people to apply to adopt them, uh, which I think you can do right now on our website if you wanted to, which is uh, our website's kitten.academy. There's a link to the application in the top menu. Uh, and if the link just says you can't apply yet, then I apologize, but I'm pretty sure that the applications are still open. So you should click it and get the, the app uh, there. And uh, when I say these guys, of course, I mean... Uh, cistern and uh, barrels behind the camera there. You can't see her in silo. Sounds like somebody was just in the tissue pit. Silo in there? Oh, silo's wedged in between the tissue pit and the tunnel. Hi, buddy. So uh, those three kittens, plus their mom, who's upstairs in my office right now. She was keeping me company for the last hour. She is so happy when I'm just hanging out with her in the room. Like, you know, she would be perfect for somebody who likes to sit around and watch TV with her, you know? Um... And she might even get along with other cats once her kittens aren't around. I just, I just can't promise it. Uh, but I, I feel like, I feel like she's got that possibility in her. Uh, but it might be a little bit of work. Anyway, um, her spiciness level though has come way down. So I feel like she actually would be pretty good for for just about anybody you can handle. Just the, the minimum of spiciness. Um, so um, you know, every now and then she does. Like, especially when I'm leaving the room, she will try to stop me uh, with a bit of a, like, she'll grab my foot. Um, but she's learning about that, too. Uh, you know, these days she doesn't try to, to, like, bite it. She just sort of, you know, uh, tries to swat it or grab it with her feet. So big improvement. Uh, I think she's doing great. And and uh, I guess my point, uh, or what I was saying that I got sidetracked, sidetracked myself on is uh, when we're hanging out in the office, she just she just is a great companion cat for hanging around. She uh, she doesn't bother too much. She likes to kind of come and get on the desk and see what I'm doing and sit in my lap and get petted. But then when she's done with that, she goes and sits. There's another one of these cardboard uh, beds for just exactly like this one that's up in my office. And that's mostly where she likes to be. She just hangs out in it. She likes this one when she's down here. So we'll probably take either the one upstairs or the one downstairs and send it with her when she gets adopted. So she's got that familiar bed that she likes so much. Assuming she still likes it by then, you know, sometimes these things change. When she first got to us, she loved sitting in the hammock uh, upstairs, and I haven't seen her in the hammock since she had her kittens. So you never know. Um, anyway, so it, it, it is about time to get them uh, adopters, and uh, they'll be ready to graduate in just a couple more weeks. We've already got it scheduled, I want to say, Something like March 8th, and I think when I say that, I'm actually quoting somebody on chat who was trying to quote me. So, you know, we're like three levels removed from just looking at the calendar and then seeing what it's scheduled for. Uh, but I, that sounds about right anyway. 
So I figure around March 8th, they're going to get their spades and neuters. Another mom, of course, has already had hers. So if somebody wanted to adopt just her, they could do it now. She just loves her kittens so much, though. If you wanted to start with a kitten and a mom cat, we, we always think that's a great idea. And in her case, um, well, in her case, uh, you know, I think it would be a good idea because the kittens are crazy about her. She's crazy about them. So they would be a good companions. Um, on the other hand, she can be almost crazy about them sometimes. And I wonder if uh, maybe being, you know, uh, apart from them would do her good. I don't know. I don't know. It's not, I'm not going to be able to find out. All I know is the right person is going to apply for her, whether they apply for one of the kids with her or not. I think it could work out for the best. And uh, I'm just hoping that, that uh, we find the right, I say we, uh, that Dawes finds the right people to adopt those kittens and their mom, the, these kittens and their mom. Hi, Silo. Uh, Silo hung out with me last night. I, I like to do solo time upstairs in the spa with the kittens when I can instead of bringing the whole group of them up there because they get a little time away from their mom and we get to bond a little more. And so last night it was just Silo and Custard up there with me. And he hung out with me and snuggled and purred pretty much all night. And it's very sweet. He's a big old sweetie. Uh, okay, so the other news, of course, is about our mom cat upstairs, um, Nibbles, and her five little kittens. They are two weeks old. Is it today? They're, they're just about two weeks old anyway. I think it's today. And uh, they're all doing pretty well. Uh, when Nibbles came in, she had an upper respiratory, we would say an upper respiratory infection. It wasn't even, like, that makes it sound so severe. And it was nothing. Like, we could just tell that she was a tiny bit sneezy, and uh, that was it, really. Um, since then, it has developed a little bit. Pregnancy tends to do that. You know, it's, it's a lot of trauma. And so uh, if you've got an infection going, there's a good chance it'll sort of latch on as she's delivering her kids and stuff. It seems like that's what happened. Uh, it's still not bad. It's still, I would hardly describe it as a mild cold. Um, she's got a couple eye goobers. You hear her sneeze once in a while. That's the extent of it. Uh, and the kittens are in the exact same boat now. Um, they've sort of been passing it around the group of them. And they all have a little bit of uh, discharge, just clear discharge from the eyes, nothing unhealthy, nothing bad. Uh, they get to them eye goobers. You'll see their eyes stuck shut once in a while. It happens. Uh, and they're sneezy. So that's all fine. It's, it's, like I said, it's really low grade. We've seen so much worse. It's nothing. Um, but it has meant that it makes it difficult for a couple of them to uh, nurse. And so we're keeping a real close eye on their weights. And when one of them isn't making their weight for that day, I just supplement a little bit of food and make sure that they've got the calories they need to keep growing. And uh, they'll get through it, you know, soon enough, I'm sure. So no worries there. Uh, just, a, just a note about, you know, if you notice the weight chart, you'll see I'm keeping notes on who's sneezing and who's getting the extra feedings and stuff. You guys can't see this, but they both just climbed up the climbing wall. I should probably zoom out the camera just so we've got the view of it. I think that camera's gonna continue to be on the stream. I think they're just about done with the tissue pit. Oh, that's a big zoom out though. Now you really can't see anything. They're playing around on the wall though. Uh, now they're going in the pod. It is about time. I think over the course of mailbag, these kittens are probably gonna fall completely asleep because they have been playing for the last hour straight. And if you wanna watch on, uh, if you're watching live on YouTube, you could always rewind and watch the kittens uh, playing in the tissue pit. They had so much fun. They might get back to it, who knows? They've got a lot of energy, but uh, oof, I would be exhausted. So anyway, kids upstairs, yeah, they're passing around a little bit of a cold. It's it's not a big deal, but I just want you to know that we're keeping an eye on it and uh, supplementing their feedings with as required. I think they're all gonna be just fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, so that's it. That's the news, I think. Uh, th as a side note, um, I have been working real hard on the tech stuff and we're finally getting some things done. Nothing's ever done. But uh, we just got back on track with a portion of what uploads the micro close-ups and automates the micro close-up stuff. We've got Troll, the, the control, camera control system, moved over to these new servers that were sent by a funny guy on, on Discord. Um, I don't know if he wants credit for that or not, but, uh, but he did. So uh, they're fantastic machines that are going to keep us rolling for a long time. It's just now been an effort to get them set up the right way and to get everything so that it's uh, solid and, and usable and we're making just crazy progress on it. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about that and the fact that um, I won't, someday soon, 
I won't have to keep making excuses for why the, the micros aren't getting uploaded on time or why we're so far behind on uploading mailbags or why um, the, the news scroll on the screen wasn't working or, uh, you know, even worse, like the, the entire control system has gone away. None of that should happen anymore. Um, I've almost. I've, I'm almost done with getting the, uh, the upload part uh, put in there. So I'm just I'm so glad that's going to be a thing. And then that should free me up to do work on actually putting some new stuff out there for all of you. Stuff I've been promising for a long time. Uh, this has really cleared the path for it. So I, I can't say enough thanks to the funny guy for sending those. I just didn't ask on Discord. I'm like, does anybody have some old computers they don't need anymore? It doesn't take a lot of power to run Kitten Academy, but we just haven't. We haven't got it in the one old machine that's trying to do everything at once. And uh, we were sent to the old machines, to be fair. They're pretty old, but they are so powerful, like super overpowered. Even as, uh, as, as they're just as old as the machines that we were running, but way more powerful. So they'll, they'll last us a long time, I'm sure, that night. Just, I cannot say thanks enough. So uh, thank you so much for that. Um, so let's do some mailbag now. And we'll see how much we can get through. Um, and if we can wrap it up by noon, I think that would be good for me. So we'll find out. I think I recognize who this is from. This is almost surely from uh, Alice the Owl. And you can tell, especially from this sticker right here, same sticker we had last time. We have little owls around. And on the front, we have a rainbow, a coffee mug that says, Say, stay safe, some kittens, balloons, a unicorn on a cloud. I like that. That's pretty cool. And, oh, uh, the James Webb Space Telescope uh, stamp. How cool is that? And an extra stamp because I guess this the package is overweight somehow. Let's find out. Let's, let's find out. Let's find out. Get to the bottom of this. Here we go, right there. What do we got? Oops. What do you think, Custard? Just watching everything. Maybe it's just used some heavy letterhead, and it is. Uh, oh, oh, and there's some pictures. Oh, some more stamps. I, you know, I just pulled those stamps that you sent last time. Stamps, uh, stickers, and uh, they were in a. It doesn't matter. They were in a pile of stuff here. They finally got organized like they belong. So I was just looking at them yesterday. They might even still be on my desk upstairs at this point. So those are so cool. Anyway, uh, you say, okay, to read on stream, and there's a very sparkly unicorn at the top here and stickers all around. I love it. Dear Mr. A, Al that, oop, easy for me to say, Alice the Owl here again with another letter. This one shouldn't be as long as last week's now that I've gotten context out of the way. Not that I expect you to remember all the random facts I shared. It helps me to gather my thoughts when I've already established some background. I forgot to mention in my last couple misses. I technically have another cat. I got Rosalind to be a companion to Tybalt on my very long work days. She's all gray like Ari, uh, small like a lot of mom cats, and spicy like Thimble. Because my current apartment is so small, I brought her to my parents' home on Cape Cod when I moved here. Once I have a place where I can designate the same privileges to both cats without their being forced to interact, she's coming back to live with me. You know, I think that's a that's a, that's kind of a good... Um, rule of thumb when you have cats if you you know if you adopt two kittens together and they keep them together it's great but if you're adopting if you have two different cats that, that don't already know each other from birth uh it can be sort of hit or miss whether or not they're going to get along and the i think the best thing that you can have for them is another space uh, where they just like we do custard just like we do with uh, custard and logan uh, for some reason, Beryl was hanging on the rug and Custard had to go over and check it out and kind of correct her. I think you could just barely see that in the corner. Um, he's still watching her. I don't know why. Um, like we do with Custard and Logan, where, you know, they actually have been raised together since each of them were kittens, more or less. Uh, but even so, they don't manage to get along very well. And it's wonderful that we have enough space here to let them both have great lives but stay separate. In due time, I'd like to work on that and, and get them introduced properly again, reintroduced properly. And I think they could be friends again someday. There's a lot of bad blood between them and bad fur and, and bad running around the house. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a big project that I just haven't had time to start on. Anyway, I think, I think you have a, that's good for you to be so responsible. You say, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. It's been a tumultuous few years. Meanwhile, my parents are more her speed, and they're fond of her. 
Their road gets very little traffic, so it's safe to let her get fresh air during the day, and they always make sure she comes in before dark. She hated I never let her outside, scream bloody murder if I foiled her escape attempts. I'm told of my parents she mostly stays on their deck except to accompany them on walks. That's pretty sweet, too. Uh, I know people's opinions on whether cats should be outdoor vary quite a bit, but I do, I think that cats that get that appreciate it quite a bit. So, um, you know, all the other arguments for and against the side. Uh, Ari was that way too. He used to love to run out the door, but um, he would never get too far before he'd have to stop and be like, I don't know what's happening out here. And that's when I could grab him and bring him back in. Now he's used to it. He's gotten used to being an indoor cat. Doesn't worry about it. Um... On Halloween, she perched beside the bowl of candy like a gargoyle. More than one neighborhood kid needed reassurance she wouldn't guard the candy and she'd let them take a piece. She has a fierce glare for such a pretty little thing. I can only imagine if she's spicy like Thimble, uh, what that would be like. That, uh, you know, yes. Um, by now, I'm sure a lot of discorders have figured out that Rosalind is the love interest Romeo starts off the play pining for. Oh, I see. I didn't put it together. Did they put together my pun? Have you? Uh, they're catulets. I see. I love the reaction that punchline always gets, probably because I get to tell it so seldom. Uh, I see. Catulets. Yeah, that works. Uh, shouldn't one be a Montemu, though? Montemu? I don't know. I tried. It's those two. Uh, off the cuff. I called my mother last night to wish her a happy birthday, and she gave me a Rosie update. My mother always sits up and reads in bed, and Rosie likes to demand pettings every night. My mother has limited motion, so she'll pet Rosie. Uh, Rosie will nudge at my mom's left hand, demanding the full treatment. I'm told she also likes to rub her face against my dad's speech. So I think she can tolerate them okay. And there's a little tiger smiley face sticker there. I like that. Uh, my dad has always formed strong, trusting bonds with every animal he meets, but especially cats. He's that quiet, leisurely type cats tend to be comfortable around. He doesn't stare. He waits for the cats to come to him, and then he offers a relaxed handout so the cat can show him how and where it likes to be petted. Before he met my mom, my dad was regularly driving from Massachusetts to Alaska. My goodness, that's a drive. He had a car cat who spent most of the trip snoozing on the dashboard. I hadn't even realized cats could like traveling in a car. Every cat I've ever driven anywhere spent the entire trip belting out the Oh, what was me song. Yeah, actually, there's a there's a couple of Kitten Academy graduates that really enjoy the car. Um, and uh, actually, even older than that, I think of um, a cat I used to, to sort of, I had, with, it was my roommate's cat. So my roommate's cat long ago. And uh, she uh, ended up driving cross country with it in her car and they both had a great time. So I think that's fun for cats that can deal with it. It's not for every cat. Uh, you mentioned while reading my last letter, you'd never been to Cape Cod, but you'd like to go. It's an odd place to grow up, but I get why people like to visit. If you do get to plan a trip, I can definitely point you to some off the beaten track experiences. I always recommend people visit in September when it's still quite warm, usually less rainy than in the summer, way less crowded, and the ocean is a nice temperature. In June, when a lot of people like to visit, the water is freezing. If you're sane like me, M -M, is, that, is that what that word is? Is If you're sane like me, there are a lot of fresh water, not that I'm questioning your sanity, mine if anything. Uh, there are also a lot of freshwater ponds on the Cape where the water is clear, and they're quite nice in September. Also, non-locals can't park at most beaches, at least for free, until after Labor Day. Interesting. Uh, I should explain that sanity remark. When you grow up near the ocean, you get a front seat view of what's in it. That's great when you're taking a field trip to watch Dr. Robert Ballard uncover the Titanic wreck via live stream. Not so great when the front page of the paper is, ooh, the remains of a giant squid that washed his sword. Yeah, that could be frightening. I mean, this... It's, you know, less, I'm sure that's the sort of thing that inspired uh, stories like H.P. Lovecraft's basically entire catalog. Uh, the ocean is vast, murky, and terrifying, and full of things that will bite you. Yes, absolutely. I would say I have a phobia, except my fear is entirely proportional. Thank you very much. Yeah, I get it. Uh, actually, I, you know, I, some, um, I'm on Reddit sometimes, and there's certain subreddits that I enjoy. And uh, one of them is called Submechanophobia, and it's basically like the... Well, it's specifically the fear of machines underwater, but I get that whole thing where you just you see things that are just kind of out of vision underwater, and it's it's very scary that uh, feeling that could just be something lurking. It's uh, definitely something I share. 
Uh, it doesn't help that most of the original Jaws movie was filmed on Martha's Vineyard just off the coast of the Cape. The waters that giant shark is terrorizing look very familiar. Well, so much for keeping this short. Ah, well, maybe next time. I hope you and everyone at the Academy as well. All my love to DJ and the faculty, especially Loganberry, because I don't see him much on the stream. Only Alice the Owl, uh, whose signature really does look like, and then there's just a scratch. So, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, oh, please use as you see fit. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Thank you so much for sending that. It is really sweet. Um, and I, I enjoy that your letters contain so many things that I get to have. Um, a decent response to so that's that's nice um you know if it was if it was less relatable i think that length might be problematic but as it is i quite enjoy it so thank you very much for that okay uh this is oh this letter is addressed to tank uh if you don't know tank is the the cat the camera that was in the uh, box with these kittens when they were first born so that we could watch them up close uh he got named tank and he has become now the, ca the camera that has taken up permanent residence in the wall pod uh, up above there. So anyway, this is addressed to Tank, and it says, Valentine, uh, you're on my most wanted list with a little raccoon stealing a Valentine heart, or maybe giving a Valentine heart, hard to tell. Uh, it says, you're on my most wanted list, so glad you stole my heart. Okay, to Tank, I know we're not together or anything, but it felt weird to just not say anything, so I got you this card. It's not a big deal. It doesn't really mean anything. So basically, it's a card saying in a roundabout way, be my Valentine. Love, Kevin. That is so cute. I, I love the way you wrote it, too. It's such a, it's such a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> I know we're not together or anything, but it felt weird to just not say anything. So I got you this card. It's not a big deal. <laughs> That's really, really cute. Um, I already covered up the address, but I believe this is from Charlie uh, I. Um, that's who I'm giving credit to now anyway. So uh, that's too late if somebody else sent it. Uh, that's very cute, Kevin. All right. Uh, okay to read on stream. Okay, perfect. Well, that's all we get here. So let's check it out. I thought these kids would be settled down by now. They are zooming. Oh, wow. This is a cool card. It's got a whole bunch of cats, each one holding a bright red heart. And then it says XOXO in um, raised letters. Very nice card. Inside it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, my husband Chris and I delight in watching KA, especially the Saturday morning mailbag. We've made this a regular part of our routine. Regardless of what is going on, the stream always lifts our spirits. We look forward to sending a parcel in the near future. Happy Valentine's Day from Jen and Chris in Ottawa. Wow, uh, thank you so much. That's a really, really nice card that you sent. Um, and uh, that's just a sweet sentiment. Thank you so much for uh, watching and enjoying it. I'm so sorry that we started an hour late this morning. I thought it was going to be just absolutely necessary. Uh, and then it turned out I was wrong, and that makes me feel even worse about it. Um, but, you know, bygones. Um, so, Jen and Chris, uh, thank you. That is a sweet, sweet sentiment. All right. Oh, you've got such a grumpy face on. Okay, let's see here. This is uh, Kitten Academy. Okay. Hi there, mailbag. Oh, this is the letter I forgot to note. Uh, the return address is from Loomerson Plumbing Company, which is very cute. Uh, hi there, Mailbag. R.D. Luberson here. I wanted to give Kitten Academy and two of my favorite people in the world, Mr. A and DJ, an update on how me and my brother Chevy are doing with some of our business ventures. As you may know, we moved from Florida to North Carolina a few months ago. Since then, we've gotten to meet a few people from Kitten Academy. That's fun. I do not recommend the drive, especially with a brother who knows how to open everything, including cat carriers. The human was so thankful she had someone else with her driving so she could handle Chev. I, of course, was not a problem at all. Human did a great job picking out a house that had lots of room for us to run and jump. And there's all kinds of wildlife for us to watch from our enclosed porch. She promised us a house that would be perfect for two wild fellas. She delivered. I've been struggling to get Loomerson plumbing off the ground. People do not want to hire a plumber without experience or without opposable thumbs. 
it doesn't deter me. Every single day, I've dedicated time to my plumbing skills. I'm also learning school bus maintenance and repair. I wonder how much all this sense that this all makes to people who aren't on the Discord to follow the plumbing adventures of uh, Lumi and uh, and Chevy. So uh, let's see, uh, Loomers, uh, our, our, you know what I meant. Um, okay, where am I going here? Um, I'm also learning school bus maintenance and repair. The school bus pop-up uh, the human brought us for Christmas has been a great way for me to practice. That reminds me, DJ bought that same one here because she thought it looked like so much fun, and I haven't brought it out yet. I think it's just right over in the other room where we have the old NASA set. I should see. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I break and then fix it over and over again until the human takes it away. This way I have something to fall back on if the plumbing doesn't work out. Human says she never met a cat who's as busy as I am. Chevy is really interested in starting a security company. He says he wants to call it Get Off My Lawn Security. But to be honest, he's not very good. I told him it should be called Cowardly Lion Security. No one wants to hire a security company that is more afraid than you are. He has a very big heart, but he's just not a security guy. No matter how hard he tries, he's my brother, so I will support him. He does partner with me on the school bus repair, so I think that's something we could do together. I think he can focus on what he does best, destruction, and then I could do the repairs. I wanted to mention I think the class name is brilliant. A class loosely named around plumbing is exactly what the Academy needed. If DJ needs more plumbing-related names, I have lots of them. Our days are spent sleeping, playing, bird watching, plumbing, school bus destruction, and repair, watching K.A., Cistern is our favorite, and running away from the human when she starts singing to us. I know we've said this a lot, but we were born into a world of love and we feel it every day. We have been able to develop our very unique, our own very unique personalities and hobbies because of you and the K.A. community. Every time a new mom cat has her babies, we're forced to hear the story of how our human fell in love with us. That is the gift you've given all the alumni and mom cats. Love. We know it and we feel it every moment. And then, unfortunately, human sings a song about it. Thank you, KA community, and thank you, Mr. A and DJ. I do not know where my passion for plumbing came from, but I promise I will continue to follow my dreams. I will not let KA education go to waste. Love, Argyle, Argy Loomerson. No from Chevy to teaspoon, do not swallow the tube. <laughs> Love, Chevron. Yes, I do. I think of that fairly often when I'm tube feeding them. I, was, I mean, how could I not? I was thinking of it this morning. A um, uh, little um, uh, Spork has been the one that's getting the feedings lately. And Spork is great at taking the feeding because, uh, like so many kittens do, I just put the tube in her mouth and she just starts swallowing it. Um, and it's, it's perfect. She's very easy. Uh, but then when, and when she, you hit the bottom and you're ready to start feeding her with the tube, she keeps kind of chewing, like trying to swallow and chewing on it. And I always think of Chevy and how we will, we will never do the tube again once a kitten has teeth. Um, that, that instinct is just there too much. And by the time they have teeth, I think they're ready to handle a few drops of, you know, uh, liquid being carefully placed in their mouths to, to get them going. Uh, whereas when they're this little, I just, I worry too much about um, them not being, not swallowing it, coughing it into their nose, that kind of thing. We don't want any of that. So uh, that's why the tube is such a great option. Uh, that, is, that was a very entertaining and amusing letter from uh, from little Argy and Chevy. I really appreciate it. It's uh, it's sweet. So uh, it's great to hear from them. It's great to hear from you. It was fun. I hope it was fun for everybody. I hope I did it justice. Um, thank you. All right. And uh, I do. I enjoy following their adventures on, uh, on Discord as much as possible. So, all right. Let's see here. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not succeeding, but I'm definitely trying. All right, we got to open this a little further to get this out here. Oh, very uh, Andy War Warhol. Oh, Andy Perhall. I see. That's what it says there. Okay, it is kitty food done up in the uh, sort of almost classic style. Bit of a knockoff there. Not exactly though. I like it. And um, inside it says. Aw, to Mr. A, I hope you like this card. It's designed by my favorite artist, Mia Gould. I discovered her artwork on Instagram at Mia Skeeton. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's at N-I-A-S-K-I, -I, uh, Mia Ski, maybe. And I fell in love with her designs. I have since purchased some of her artwork and wanted to share with you. 
Her art is centered around cats, and she takes famous paintings and recreates them with a cat or two added in. How possum? All my best, Abby. Uh, that's not all, but that's very sweet. I do like it. So, yeah, I see that on the back. It's also a website, niaski.co.uk. Um, it is. It's really cool. I also like the way that the little cat faces on the kitty food are sparkly. Uh, that's a nice little touch. I like it. It's not a direct ripoff. It's just it really, really calls it to mind, but it's, uh, it's super cute. Uh, then inside, you have another note, okay to read on stream with a smiley face. I like it. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ and all feline residents at Kitten Academy, I hope to be sending you a package of treats from the UK, but alas, it's not possible at the moment. So in absence of that, I thought a letter would suffice. So yeah, I, I actually heard about all that. And uh, let me tell you, a letter always suffices. A letter is more than enough. I always enjoy a letter. Um, so thank you. I am Abigail number 1984 on Discord, and I've been an avid KA watcher for two years now. I've learned so much about the care of kittens from watching KA. I unfortunately have no cats of my own due to renting, but I so hope to adopt a cat and or kitten at the first opportunity when I do eventually move to my own home. In the meantime, I watch KA to keep up with the cats and kittens and their daily antics. Kitten Academy has brought me so much joy over the last two years of watching, and I look forward to many more. Keep being Mr. Awesome. Oh, is that what the A stands for? Uh, it's not, but <laughs> and much love to everyone at KA. Love and furs, Abby. Yes, I'll send the package as soon as I can. DJ will love what I found for her. Oh, well, that's, that's very sweet, but I already love what you said. So thank you so much for that. I'll tell you, it's more than enough. Um, all right, uh, finally, we have, oh, to KA with love, with a little hand drawing of the KA logo. Our last letter for today, here we go, from Hobbit, a uh, uh, previous writer. Uh, ooh, we have a, a Guatemala card here that has a really cool little person wearing a colorful head, um, I don't know, a scarf, it's a ribbon, it's just a little piece of, not even ribbon, uh, yarn. Uh, in actuality, and then like a piece of burlap with a really cool pattern on it. I said burlap, it's not. It's more like a muslin. Um, and some flowers. Anyway, it's a really cool 3D art, Guatemala. Uh, and it says, greeting to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, all the mom, cats, kittens, faculty, stay warm and cozy until spring reaches Connecticut. It is snowing right now. I think it's only the second snow that we've really had this season. Uh, it's not quite sticking on the ground yet, almost. But the porch is all white now. Uh, maybe you can see it out the window behind you. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of snow if it keeps up. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for warm weather again. Uh, then there's another letter in here, and it says, oh, this is so sweet. Um, uh, Dear Teaspoon, you are a very beautiful kitten and my favorite in Nibbles Litter. You stand out like a golden snitch among your darkly colored siblings. Uh, but that's no reason to stay small. You know... Uh, that's that's a very cute golden snitch. I like it. I'm gonna end up stealing that. Um, there's no reason to stay small. You need to master. Uh, you need to master basic feeding before you can progress to more advanced classes. Take courage and learn to hold your own against the heavier kittens in the milk bar fights. I'm rooting for you, and I'm very glad to see you're getting extra feedings to help you. Thank you, Mr. A, for taking such good care of mom, cats, kittens, and all their special needs. Thank you so much for sharing it with us viewers. Uh, sharing it all with us viewers. Watching kittens sleep turns out to be a wonderful way to relax from a hectic day. Love from M. Hobbit. P.S. Note to DJ that Kahooligans have the best set of kitten names ever. Well done. P.P.S. To mailbag watchers, I love letters. Please send more letters and cards. Well, that could have been me talking there at the end. I'm glad that you like the letters as well. I hope everybody does. I love reading them. I love hearing from people. And I love the fact that um, you know, it's a way to, to, to participate that, that doesn't, you don't have to pay a lot for shipping. You don't have to pay a lot for stuff. Um, and, and I like that too. Um, I always, I, I, uh, I'm so grateful to everyone that does everything for the kittens and there can never be too much of it. There's never too much of it. Sometimes there's a little too much of sending stuff for DJ and I, I think there can be too much of that. DJ would argue that any of it is too much. Um, but, um, but I do love that as well. Uh, but for the kids, it can never be too much. But I can understand that, uh, you know, not everybody is is up for that. And uh, I appreciate the letters just as much. That's that's what I love for us. So anyway, 
Um, I'm glad someone else feels the same way. M. Hobbit, it's good to hear from you once again. It's a very sweet letter to, uh, it, I'm happy to say, by the way, that our little golden child uh, has, in fact, started eating on his own. I haven't had to feed him anything in a couple few days now, uh, whatever it says on the weight chart, but he's he's keeping up. He's got to he's gotta work really hard if he's going to catch up to anybody. Uh, but, you know, he's got his little eyes open now. He looks like some kind of a, a grumpy old man crossed with a space alien monkey thing. I don't know. He's got a real unique look. Well, I say real unique, but uh, he certainly reminds me a lot of Ant when Ant was that age. And I, I can only hope that he grows up to be as entertaining. So uh, we will find out. So let's open some packages. Uh, all right. We've covered up everything interesting on this package already. We're going to need a knife also, so let's find that. I can't believe these kids are still going behind me. Maybe I need to lower that camera again before I start talking. I don't know. I don't know where they're going to be. They'll probably all move. This poor bear. I didn't think about where he was going to have to have his head for mailbag. It's okay, buddy. We'll all get through this. <laughs> you know, uh, just like... Uh, just like our uh, little teaspoon upstairs, you know, he was a little behind for a while. He got a little behind. That's what I should have said. He got a little behind. But he'll be fine, and so will you, all right? <laughs> ah, that was too clever. Too clever. It's just like I botched the delivery. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Chocolate, cherries, nuts, and berries. Oh, that is my weakness. And uh, I, I think this is not the first time... They would have been sent something from this company because we still have a little bowl that has cherries on it that I'm pretty sure we're from. Is it pronounced Chukar? Oh, man, I'm looking at this. This looks so good. Chukar cherries? I am this one I'm going to go with. I don't think I knew how to pronounce it last time either. You know I love anything covered in chocolate, and uh, this is spectacular. Oh, man, cherries and fruit and stuff are great. Nuts are great. Everything's great. I love it. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, um, we've had some, some Chukar stuff sent before that was really good. And we still I use that bowl all the time that uh, had come with it. So, uh, okay, I should have kept the letter opener open. But I'm going to do this one by hand, and then we'll see. It says, for Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream. I like the okay to read on stream. Very reassuring. Yeah, inside we have a card that has a cat with a bowl, a fish bowl, balanced on his head. And the cat is smiling and the fish inside is uh, blowing a little bubble that is a heart. Um, the fish inside the fish bowl is blowing a little bubble that is a heart. Um, but the cool thing is it's all kind of like mixed media. We've got some real shiny um, paint on here. The fish bowl has a uh, plastic over it, like one of those stickers from Alice the Owl. And the little bubble he's blowing is a little uh, heart-shaped rhinestone in actuality. It is adorable. So there we go. Um, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy belated new year to you and the faculty. My family and I have been watching Kitten Academy uh, since Port and the Oranges were at the Academy. You bring us so much joy every day. Thank you for everything that you do and for all and for all the joy you spread all around the world. Some of us watch from overseas even when we travel. I've included a little taste of Washington State for you and Dr. DJ. Please give hugs to the utensils and tiny tubs from me and my family. From uh, Carmen C. I think that's I think that's the word. Carmen C. C A R M E N C I ninety nine on Discord. I hope I'm uh, reading that correctly. Carmen C. Uh, 99 on Discord. So thank you so much for the, uh, I'm, I'm sticking with Chukar cherries. I'm super excited to eat these. I shouldn't be, um, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to eat them anyway, and they're going to be great. I really appreciate it. I don't know if, um, I, Washington State has, has always had a, a, a special place in my heart um, since that is, in fact, where I was born. My parents were living in Seattle at the time, and I was born at the King County Hospital. Um, but I, uh, they, they moved out to Illinois when I was still very young, uh, a couple of years old. So I just have like the foggiest, mem the foggiest memories of Washington State. Uh, yeah, some of which include fog um, there in the uh, uh, 
Yeah, the the uh, the bay, the uh, uh, sound. Uh, it's uh, Puget Sound, right? Yes. Uh, I was really hoping when DJ was going for her residency that we were going to end up there. Uh, it was one of the places that she interviewed, but it was not to be. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for the chocolate-covered stuff. Uh, my favorite stuff is chocolate-covered stuff. All right, Fragile, a joke we haven't used in a while. I can hesitate to even call that a joke, but there we go. Um, and, oh, it's from Tanya with a J. All right, Tanya with a J. Thank you. Oh, wow. Pull me out. Okay, for stream. What a clever place to put your letter. Look, you've got a heart here on this flap and a heart and a letter on this flap. Pull me out. Uh, nice pun there as well. Look at that little envelope. It goes right in. This is very tiny. What? A, what? A, I like design. That's a great design there. Good work. Uh, okay, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, uh, we love what you do to help the very lucky mom cats and their tinies find their way to Kitten Academy, as well as an occasional pregnant. And we love the joy this brings to people around the world <clears throat> and to us. So, being that one of our favorite holidays is here, we wanted to brighten your Valentine's Day with a little treat and to say we love you. Thanks for sharing yourselves and all the felines with us on the Kitten Academy live stream, close-ups, and micros. All right, buddy, you can go up there. Just don't. It looks like you're going to crush that thing. Um, in this shipment, we've included special bags for Thimble and her tiny tubs for you to add to their endowments. Aww. Oh, we've also included a little paper with a back pain, a laser back pain. All right. Whoa. There's a spinal decompression machine here that looks like it's a medieval torture device. Uh, wow. Uh, that's what we like about the local papers. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, uh, the City Journal, Riverton's own community newspaper. I like it. Wow, some of these ads are starting to look familiar. Uh, or I wonder, do I recognize the Stone Ridge Vet ad? Do they always get the front page? And I've seen it before specifically, or do they all pull from the same clip art? Now I'm wondering. Uh, I don't know. February is National Dental Month. Has it been that long? Because that's the ad I remember too. <laughs> Interesting. Now I got to go back to the archives. Uh, okay. Um, each bag includes, well, let's find, look at this. Oh, it's so sweet. The others have sparkly hearts as well. And so we've got this tissue paper and it's sealed with a sparkly heart. What an awesome, awesome job you've done here. Okay. There we go. There's the bags. Look how cute they are. Silo. Oh my gosh, they've even got ribbons with their name printed on it and thimble. You know, I think I, I mentioned this last time you sent one of these, how your little, um, the printed stuff that, so, easy for me. The stuff you printed, I just don't know, even know how it's possible to print on paper that's sparkly like this. That seems like that would require some kind of special printer. But this time you've got uh, ribbons on it as well. This one says thimble, silo, little printed ribbons. Wow. Sis turn. And uh, let's see. Yes, barrel. Oh, those are so cool. How do you do all that? Um, when the graduation time rolls around, it's sure to cause a few tears as we send them on their way. But as adoring fans, we know they'll be off to their loving forever homes and they will have wonderful lives. Each bag includes a kitty cookie cutter for their adooters. Oh, I think we had that last time too, didn't we? Yes, very cute. Uh, a catnip crinkle plushie toy. So there's the cookie cutter on this side, if you can see that. Um, the crinkle plush toy. Oh, is that big pink thing I see? And we got some, uh, uh, some belt balls, I think, I see. And the pet gravity chirping ball. Oh, those are fun. Uh, the chirping ball has a picture of a guy on the front wearing headphones. That seems weird, except he's got hair, so I know they're not just taking it from me. He's probably wearing the headphones because those things can drive you nuts. <laughs> um, okay, where were we? Uh, crinkle, plant, put, no, okay, chirping fuzzy ball, yes. Uh, five pom-pom balls, two iridescent crinkle balls. We've certainly enjoyed watching Nibbles and her utensils and are amazed that we saw eyes beginning to open before the average of seven to 10 days. How advanced they are. We didn't realize the kittens are actually born deaf with sealed ear canals. The internet tells, the internet tells us that by the age of 17, they're open and kittens can start to hear. And by 25 days, kittens will respond to sights and sounds. 
No wonder they don't respond to their mom's voice until they're a little older and they don't get startled from the door of the annex closing when you go in and out. After having kitties for 30 years, it's been fun to learn things we never knew or realized. Yeah, I'm skeptical that they can't hear anything, and I'm skeptical they can't see anything. I, my guess is that, that they can probably hear a lot like they can see, like they can tell when the light changes drastically. They can probably sort of hear, well, they can probably hear things that they can also probably feel. So maybe they just feel the vibrations. Who knows? Um, but smell is definitely something, uh, you know, I want to sort of poo-poo the importance of smell sometimes, like uh, when we're talking about the kittens not being able to uh, nurse so well because of their cold, and people are like, well, maybe they just can't smell. My theory is more that it's mechanical. You can't, you can't nurse when you can't breathe through your nose at the same time. You know, those kittens just stay latched on for a long time. Um, but, uh, but the smell does make a big difference, and they're definitely born with that because uh, I know if I use the hand sanitizer and then walk into the room, even before I'm anywhere near the box, uh, the kittens that don't even have their eyes open will start hissing and carrying on because they can smell the hand sanitizer from across the room. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, we, let's see, um, we'll begin packing up our endowments for the utensils once we have confirmations of exactly how many girls and boys there are. How exciting. Really love doing this for the tinies. Hugs from snowy Utah, Tanya and Leo, a.k.a. Tanya with a J on YouTube. I did not realize Tanya with a J on YouTube. Apologize for the after the holiday shipment. All kitten accessories finally arrived. We're just extending Valentine's Day for you. Absolutely adore the clever utensils name for Thimble's Tiny's. Great job, Dr. DJ. I agree. As soon as DJ said utensils, I, I gave her a lot of credit. That was a, that was a fantastic class name. Uh, also, I'm glad it doesn't involve the word tiny anywhere. That we were really stuck in a tiny rut. Um, there was something else there I wanted to respond to before I, I looked into the rest of this, and now I've forgotten what it was. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 uh, packing it down. Oh, uh, boys and girls. Yes, how many boys and girls? Uh, I'll tell you, I still could, can't say 100% sure, but my current operating theory is uh, exactly what I said at the first, which is that the little orange boy is a boy, and all four others are girls. And I think that's what's causing me some confusion. I think if we had another boy in the mix to compare with, it would be obvious. I think I think I would look and go, yes, that's clearly a boy. But instead of looking going, I'm not sure. I, I just don't know. And that's got to mean they're all girls. The only other time that I've had so much trouble uh, was when we had a class of all girls and I just wasn't firing, right? So... Um, so yeah, that's my that's my suspicion. Uh, I would I would say that's a pretty good suspicion. Uh, I'm still not willing to commit to it 100. percent So uh, so take that as you will. Um, and uh, if it makes things late, uh, that's that's my fault. You know, and you certainly don't have to do anything anyway. But I appreciate it. Uh, washi tape inside is removable carefully. Okay to read. All right, we've got another layer of things here. So let's see. Oh, you make my heart purr. It's got two cats that are rubbing on each other like Maggie does on Eddie. Uh, but they've got their little hearts just happen to be coming. To, I mean, their little tails just happen to be coming together in a heart. Uh, very sweet. Oh, look at that. Very cute. Um, each of these little stickers made me think of K.A. These are adorable stickers. My goodness. Also, you sent a bag of uh, cat-shaped paper clips. Those are very cool. It says, sending a great big hug and a heart full of love. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone at Kitten Academy. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students with love. Tanya with a J and Leo. Um, these stickers are so cute. We have a cat here that appears to be grabbing a foot. Uh, so that's a very K.A. moment right there. Uh, a socked foot, I should say, a foot in a sock. Uh, here we have a cat that is a doctor, uh, dressed up with a little hat and uh, surgical scrubs, a uh, doctor's jacket and a mask, a little surgical mask. Hmm. Very K.A. moment there as well. Uh, here we have a cat that is actively using a laptop with uh, one paw on the keyboard and one on the mouse. Uh, that is also a somewhat of a K.A. Whoop, moment. Uh, here we have a big fat just like custard coughing up a hairball. Yes, very much so. 
And finally, we have two kittens on scales. What is this? How did you even find these stickers? I feel like somebody made these watching us. That is fantastic. Uh, really great. And you've included some stuff. Here we have two Chris from Tanya and Leo. And it says, look at that. I get my own ribbon that says Chris on it. That's so sweet. And it is full of Hershey's Kisses. Oh, and little Hershey's chocolates, too, that aren't kisses. Very yummy. And another one identical except for Deepa. And it says her name on it. Super sweet. Spelled out instead of DJ. That's very polite. Uh, that's nice. Uh, I just call her DJ for everybody's ease, really. Uh, and I, it's interesting. I was just thinking the other day about how uh, naturally, you know, these things happen where if I'm talking about her to someone else, I call her TJ. It's just, I, it's DJ. But if I'm talking to her, it's Doopy. And, uh, you know, it's it's just... It's just interesting how we have different names for the same person that we can use so reliably. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, this says to Chris and Deepa from Tanya and Leo, we have a book called Wild About You, Adorable, Irresistible Animal Love. That's cute. It's got a big, fat, gray cat on the cover. We will take a look at that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's got a big fat gray cat on the cover and then on the back in little print it says adobestock.com all rights reserved so i guess we know where the photo of the big fat gray cat came from uh that's cute there we go that's the world we live in today and this uh this appears to be one giant three-dimensional sticker in a sort of a vintage style of this cat with a shiny pearl necklace and a little shiny goldfish on the necklace uh, and two different colored eyes. It is really, really cool, this sort of retro vintage big sticker. Uh, that will possibly make a, uh, a nice centerpiece for one of my sticker projects when I eventually get around to actually uh, using all the stickers I've been collecting. I have quite a sticker collection. I bet I have a sticker collection to rival most 12-year-old girls at this point. Uh, that's something that is... Uh, Definitely been a goal of mine in life. So there we go. Finally, revenge on those girls from grade school. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Uh, let's set these aside here for now. We'll get those sorted out after mailbag. These as well. One more thing. There's also a You Are Me Out of This World collection of Russell Stover uh, candies. That's interesting because Russell Stover is such a big name. And here we have this weird Mimi cat thing with the cats on their candies. Uh, that's, that's, it's just a real, you know, memes are over now. The corporate corporations are just fully all in on them, right? That's how you know it's done. It's done. I don't, I don't actually know that. <laughs> and, uh, I love Russell Stover. Uh, you know, that's, that was the, the grocery store chocolate that we had, uh, my entire life. And I think I've mentioned more than once that their bridge mix, uh, is a guilty pleasure because it's everything chocolate covered, especially there's, and I, I know I've said this before, if you go get the bridge mix, there's one thing, it's one of the rarest things in there, I think, uh, is the, it's like a, it's like a jelly um, that's a little firm and covered in chocolate. Uh, it's like a, like a cherry jelly thing. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I would always have to dig through the bridge mix and find all those first and sort of steal them out. And it's tough because there's a there's like a nougat thing that looks almost identical, and you gotta be really really good to know which one you're getting until you bite into them. Of course, uh, mixing it up repeatedly also a way to win, if you ask me. Whoa, what is this? This this looks like a jump. Oh no, I opened somebody else's mail, and I'm so sorry. This is the same person that we keep getting their mail. Uh, this is gonna. This is the third time now that we've accidentally gotten their mail from the, the uh, from the the post office, and it's the same person. This this lady Anne. Her name is Anne, and I've come to recognize it because it happened like two days before Christmas. Uh, we got her mail, and I thought maybe this is something really important for Christmas. And by coincidence, it had her phone number on the outside of the package. So I called her and I said, look, you know, I'm real busy. I've got a bunch of stuff going on, but I put your package on our front porch. Here's our address. If you need it desperately, come by and get it. Otherwise, I'll return it to the post office uh, on Monday. Um, and she called me back to say, and she's just the, the most, like, grateful person. It was such a this sincere, wonderful appreciation 
Um, in fact, she told me that she works for uh, one of the airlines and that if I ever was at LaGuardia, I should stop by her kiosk or whatever. Uh, I think the, the terminal lounge maybe she works at, I don't know, uh, and say hi to her, which I thought was just the nicest thing. Um, so anyway, uh, just uh, last week, I had uh, after last mailbag, uh, we got a couple of her things and I had to send her a text. I had to look up the number because it wasn't on there. I still had it. I sent her a text. I said, hey. We got some more email. I'm going to just drop it off at the post office this time, which I did. And she sent me, again, so much appreciation for it. Uh, just, just a really sweet person. So uh, this is the first time I've gone as far as actually opening one before I realized it wasn't ours, though. So I'm so sorry. I know Anne's probably not watching because she would have had to investigate to figure out who we are. It's not like I've talked to her about it. Um, but OK, well, anyhow, my mistake. I should have thought to check those a little more carefully, um, but uh, all right. Next, uh, this has a name on the outside that I think has to be a Discord name because it doesn't sound like a real person's name. <laughs> but let's uh, let's check it out here first. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, this is a thick, uh, big, thick note. Is this just a knife guard or is there something in here? I gotta see. Let's. Ironically, I'm going to end up chopping this knife guard to pieces if that's what it is, uh, because I had to see what was in it, if anything. Now it's just it just folded up cardboard. Okay, good. That's that's what I was. I think actually we didn't get to the center though. If you had something, it would be in the center, wouldn't it? How many licks? No, it's okay. It's just cardboard. just checking. To Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and the faculty. Well, that's us. So let's find out here. Oh, wow. We've got um, what looks like a, a vintage painting of a cat in a frame with the roses and a horseshoe for some reason, and little angels in the frame. Uh, but the horseshoe's tacked on afterwards, so it's, uh, it's deliberate. Uh, interesting. Okay. It just says, thank you inside. All right, we'll go for that. Thank you. You're welcome. It says, the note, okay to read online. Perfect. Thank you. That's how we do it. Maggie, you holding down that newspaper? You can make a great paperweight. Here we go. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty, you have a winter pineapple, so I'm sending you a summer pineapple for those warmer months because summer tinies. Oh. Uh, I did have that right, by the way. It's Nene 1956 on Discord. Let's just get that out of the way. I was crinkling paper, though. Nene, N-A-Y, N-A-Y, -A -Y, 1956 on Discord. Uh, and I see where you got that. Oh, we do. I love that little winter pineapple. I did not know there was a set of Squishmallows that are also pineapples. Uh, the original Squishmallows, and this one is, in fact, a summer pineapple named Lulu. And she's got a cute little face and a little ribbon on the top of her head and her little pineapple fringe. Uh, but no scarf, and that's how you know she's for summer. Uh, that's so cute. I want to thank you for all the hard work and love you put into Kitten Academy and for letting all of us be part of the experience with all the wonderful mom, cats, and kittens that pass through those hallowed halls. There have been so many sweet and spicy mom cats along the way, and all the tinies grow up to be big and strong young boys and girls with your care and love. They move through the classes with the professors as if it was the easiest thing to do. They all graduate with honors and charm themselves. They all graduate with honors and charm themselves into the hearts and minds of people everywhere in the world. And when they are ready, they graduate and find themselves those wonderful forever homes out there. Thankfully, we get to keep track of most of them through the wonderful photos and news their new moms and dads put in the alumni channel. <clears throat> Though I'm mostly a lurker. Kitten Academy has filled many hours in my days and nights with smiles and giggles and moments of wonder as I get to see the tinies born. Thank you again for all that you do and all that you give us, and mostly for the love and care you give the cats and kittens that move through your home. With gratitude and love, Nay Nay 1956 on Discord. Nay Nay, uh, Nay Nay 1956, thank you so much. This is very sweet. The sentiment in your, excuse me, the sentiment in your letter is wonderful i just thank you so much for that uh and this this is cute it's a perfect match to the one upstairs wearing the scarf uh uh yeah uh, it's a scarf that's that is i said that right yes i got it okay wow um yeah it is it's a it's a perfect match the same size it looks like uh part of a set so they will have a great time guarding that box together i might even deploy her early because right now there's a gap 
she's so the, the one in the scarf is sort of guarding the gap on that one side of the box so that mom and the kittens don't try to hide in there. Um, and there's a gap on the other side that Shane has been guarding, but this might make an even better little guardian. So uh, thank you for that. And the, it's so squishy, you can sort of squeeze it into the gap if you have to. It's very practical that way. So Nene, thank you so much. It's also adorable, of course. Of course it's adorable. I feel like that goes without saying, which is why I said it. Okay. Uh, put that over here. Let's shuffle some stuff. Oh, I, I wanted to pick that up and use it for garbage. No, that's got to go to Anne. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Kim Academy, okay, cool. Just, uh, I was looking for a name or something, but everything's covered up now, so. Hey, buddy, what are you doing in there? <laughs> you playing with some more paper? Oh, okay, hi. Is this a fun game? Little barrel in the box. I need some coffee here. <clears throat> Clear my throat a bit, maybe. Um, these, uh, these are the mugs from the store, which I, I'm not even going to get into how far behind I am on that, um, or apologize. Um, but I've said before how nice they are, and they, it is, it's still a very nice mug. But you can see that after all this time, uh, Tommy is starting to kind of come apart, so I guess they don't last forever if you dishwash them. At least the logo doesn't last forever. Uh, the rest of it has certainly outlasted a lot of these flasks that I have had, so... And the logo lasted a lot longer than, uh, say, the one that DJ got from work. So I still rate them as great quality, but you can see that Tommy's seen better days there. <laughs> knife guard! Oh, it's so cute. It's a knife guard, and it's got a drawing of a cat with a heartburn nose that is the knife guard, apparently. How cool is that? I like it. And inside, we have a note. Oh, uh, we have a note and, and I've included a photo of Cahoot's kit. Oh, well, let's take a look here. Hang on a minute. Uh, read on mailbag from Courtney and Christopher. Thank you. Uh, dear Kitten Academy. Oh, look at that. That's a great shot. I love it. Thank you for all you do for the kittens, cats, and uh, for the kittens and cats. More people need to foster and help cats find a forever caring, safe home. My boyfriend and I started watching August last year when Crouton was there. I really love their name. I'm currently on a trip to see my boyfriend in Massachusetts, and I've been away from my six cats back in Mississippi. Their names are Ninja, Prissy, Bengal, Garfield, Solare, and Mike. Uh, that's uh, Mike with an apostrophe, uh, A-I-Q, that I sometimes call Slim Jim. Uh, LOL, he's a bobtail like Bengal is. Uh, that's, that's Mike, obviously, I, I know his uh, name. I would never pronounce correctly, except it's a reference to a video game, which is something I get. Uh, I feel like Captain America and the I get that reference. Uh, okay. Seeing your cats every day helps me feel closer to my own cats and helps me calm my mind. I love all the cats. Maggie. Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Uh, Ari, Logan, Eddie, Custard, Cahoots, and Ocean Trinket, and all the kittens like Astro, Caliper, and Spyglass. I've sent a pineapple cat blanket. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, it's so cute. It is. Hey, look at that. It's a pineapple cat blanket. How are there so many things that exist for this niche? 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 Do you say niche or niche? Because I always grew up saying niche, and now nobody says it that way. Uh, anyway, look at that. It's a cat with some pineapples, and he's so cute. I love it. It's also just the right size for a mom cat box. Um, uh, let's see. Where are we? Uh, I originally got it for Cahoots and her babies, but if she and the kittens aren't there when you get this package, I'd like you to give the blanket to Thimble and her kittens, put it on the beanbag or bed. Uh, the collars can be used for any of the kittens or mom cats now or when they're adopted. Let's take a look at what that, oh, look at that, there's a little set, of, oh, very jingly collars. These are some cool designs. There's an avocado collar, there's a pineapple collar. There's a pineapple collar in here, everybody. That's too much. Um, now, when they're adopted, or if any of the faculty would wear a collar, maybe them too. Look, this one's a pineapple collar. Maggie wants to play with it. They all want to play with it. I know it's a toy. 
Uh, they'll need some adjustment. Uh, fortunately, I think I've learned how to do that kind of. Oh, this is nice and sewn though. Um, the collars, even the collars that they sell at the stores for kittens that are like kitten collars specifically, way too big for the kittens when they're here at the Kitten Academy. We have to um, uh, have uh, collars that are specially modified to fit kittens. Um, and uh, uh, um, fortunately, um, we've had a whole set of collars sent to us. And also, fortunately, we haven't needed them for the last couple of classes. I think when they um, are uh, sort of visually distinct, then we don't need to do it. See, this can go right. That's that's just the very, very smallest setting for the, the collar. I put it as small as it can possibly go. And you can see I just put it right on and off, and, and it's pretty loose. So. Um, I assume they're all that way, but that doesn't mean we can't use them. Of course, we could just um, uh, open this thing up and, and make it a little bit smaller by hand. That's very stupid. Oh my gosh, I love it. Not only is it a pineapple on the collar, there's a little tiny pineapple charm on the bell. Oh, he's so small. I don't know if you can even see it. Stop drinking my coffee. He's licking. You're licking my coffee. She, cistern, you don't need, you don't need coffee. You don't, you don't. Um, I'd like the blanket to always be with Thimble. I see she may have some past trauma or stress. She wants to feel secure and in control of her environment. Thank you so much for helping her build trust and feel safe in a good home. God bless you for helping these precious companions and soul healers, Courtney. Courtney, that is so sweet. Thank you. The rest of these colors are also super distinctive. I know DJ's going to love these. If I find the time to uh, shorten them up a bit, we will use them. Oh, they each have... A distinct design and a matching little uh, charm on them. This one has all kinds of fruit on it, and the charm is a little tiny strawberry. Uh, they're also they're all distinct, like they would show up well for a single class on our cameras because they're each very distinctive coloring-wise in a way that I think would, would be really easily visible on camera. Uh, this one has avocados and a tiny little avocado charm. Where did you find these with the charms? I love them. Uh, they, like I said, they're going to need a little modification to work, but uh, so cute. This one has a little citrus. It's got more fruits on it, uh, and this one's got a little citrus charm. Uh, we have a strawberry here that has a different strawberry charm, I think. It's not even the same strawberry. No, it's two different strawberry charms, completely different. And uh, finally, we've got this one that's got, uh, oh, grapes. It's got grapes on it, and yes, a tiny little grape charm. Oh, these are so cool. I love these collars. Thank you so much. And uh, the blanket for Thimble, I, I like that. Uh, I've got to figure out where I can put it that we might get her used to using it before she even leaves, right? Because that would be a lot of fun for her. And then when she does go, she'll have something that's familiar. Uh, I, I feel like I can either put it in this uh, or in the one upstairs that she's probably sitting in right this minute. Right this minute. <clears throat> Uh, speaking of 12-year-old girls, my voice is still cracking. Um, so uh, thank you so much for the, for the callers. You say any of the kittens are mother cats now or when they're adopted or any faculty. So basically anything. So I think uh, these are so cool. Uh, what I want to do is find the time to modify them and use them for a class. Um, so let's, let's see if I can do that or not. Uh, they're a little different than the ones that we're used to using that are just glued closed. These all have uh, an extra bit of little seams on them. So uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to get the, the sewing machine out and do all the backlog of sewing work I have. I've got a, like a collection of uh, like a space in the closet where I'm like, okay, here's all the stuff that needs a little bit of repair, like, like five minutes work on the sewing machine if I ever get it out. And until then, it just keeps accumulating. Uh, but if I didn't do that, I could always just glue them. You know, nobody would know the difference. Uh, so that would work too. Anyway, so sweet. Uh, Courtney and company, thank you very much for all of it. That is just wonderful of you. So um, let's see, I need to put this here, and I'm going to put this in this one just because it's here right now, and I don't want to forget uh, somebody is going to have to remind me when Thimble's ready to be adopted that this has to go home with her. I'm sure she will love it. Um, but let's just put it right here for the moment. So, you know, she also likes sitting in that, uh, even though she doesn't go into the hammock, she likes sitting on the second uh, level of that cage quite a bit. And there is, you know, that's where a blanket always goes. So maybe that would be the perfect spot for it after mailbag. Oh, we're going to get somebody, uh, uh, Silo is going to take a little walk on the wheel. Oh, it's a very short walk, buddy. 
I don't know what they're all so interested in outside. It's still snowing. There was a little bird hopping around, but not really. Like, nothing to be this excited about. The snow's starting to accumulate on the ground now, by the way. It's turning white out there. It's still coming down. It's that kind of snow that's real tiny, dry, uh, you know, like super cold flakes. Is it that cold? Oh, it is that cold. It's 20 degrees. Yeah. You can tell it's cold just by looking at how the snow is. Or maybe I've just grown up around too much snow. Uh, okay. So this looks like the familiar Dragon Maker logo, but it says here, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. So let's take a look and see what that all means. I smell catnip. I smell a lot of catnip. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. Uh, let's see, we've got what looked like Dragon Maker uh, discs here in some very fancy colors. I like this one a lot. This one's got, uh, oh, I guess um, I was going to say like hippie smiley faces, but it's also got this text on here that looks like Hubert when he talks. Uh, that's, that's super cool. They're all cool. Uh, let's see what the note says. The note, okay to read on screen. Okie dokie. What are you kids watching out there? There's nothing. Oh, I guess that little bird's still hopping around a little bit. He's just off the porch. I don't think you guys can see him. Ah, this is a great card. It's a, it's a cat who appears to be making pour over coffee. Uh, he's got a pitcher. He's pouring into what does look like a pour-over coffee maker. Very cool. Very hip. Uh, and he's, he's also wearing overalls, and he's got one hand in his pocket. Um, it's, it's super cute. Uh, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, enclosed our dragon maker fancy flings for Miss Thimble and her tiny tubs. No poop in this package. I'm so looking forward to KACON 2023 to connect again with Dragon Maker and so many other discorders I met last year. I know that they're already planning the convention for this year, um, and the, the, there's a channel on our Discord to discuss it, and uh, people have been talking. Really fun stuff. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, too. I'm hoping Donkey Shane will be there again. I was sorry to hear the lobster rolls won't be making an appearance. Oh, I know there was some discussion of that. I didn't. I don't get to follow everything on the Discord, but the lobster rolls actually did come up to percolate to a point where I became aware. Uh, thank you for all you do for the mom, cats, kittens, faculty, and the whole KA community. Please nose boop any kitten nearby for me. Well, look at that. There's one right in this box. Boop. I know you can't see it, but that's barrel. I don't think there's any other noses there. Oh, that bird. Oh, okay. That is, they're all perked up at that. I wonder if they can see the bird a lot more because everything's becoming so white. The bird is just stands out. Now they're all, even Silo's over there. What are you looking at? She's, she's just looking at me after that boob with her eyes so wide. Like, what was that? What are you doing? Are we playing a game? Are we playing a game? Now we are. Okay. Uh, Meowy Saturday, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. Well, thank you, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. This uh, this card, this art on this card is very cute. I love it. And these are perfect for Thimble and her tiny tubs. I guess I'll have to decide who gets which one. Uh, we can make that decision in due time. For now, I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to write Thimble on them just in case, but I'm going to put them together with the other gowns we have, so it should be obvious for context. Oh, man, that, that catnip. Whew, I'm surprised Maggie didn't turn around to get him. She usually likes to come after these things. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, thimble and tubs. Uh, we need a box to put these things in. This corking is over here. It's going to be just right for that. Okay, we can put this in here. We can put these in here. Oh, technically, we're running past time. We're running past, way past, but we've got, we've only got four more boxes to open. Oh, no, Silo's cute little note fell off. We can't have that. Um, I feel like we should just keep rolling. What do you guys think? Uh, of course, uh, I know you'll be okay with that, so. Oh, boy. There's a very tiny piece of thread with which you have attached Silo's note. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back on there the right way. I might just have to put it with his stuff. Let's see, though. 
I have I have these uh, big fingers that not really suited to tying a little tiny piece of thread. Let's see if I can though. I can at least get it to stay on there. Okay, once, and if I put a little second knot in it, there we go. I'm not, I have no chance of making a bow here, so I'm just gonna double knot it. Oh, maybe, maybe, oh, curse these fingers. Ah! It's just, I wouldn't, you know, if it was just a regular tag, I might not, but uh, this is so cute with the little sparkly in his name. I'm trying to turn it like you do when you're tying off a thread, but there's not even enough uh, for me to really get that right oh, oh, and still get a grip on it. Yeah. Okay, well, good enough. It'll stick on there for the moment, and I'll find it again when it falls off, hopefully if it does. Okay. So let's keep rolling here. I just I want to make sure nobody on Discord is like, no, please stop. Uh, so let's find out. Uh, okay, it looks like uh, keep rolling is the general consensus. So uh, let's do it. And uh, I promise. Uh, no, I don't promise. I I, um, I will tell you though. I'm, I hope that we get this uploaded sooner rather than later. Like I said at the start, all the tech stuff is finally starting to come together in a way that's paying off already. And uh, getting mailbags uploaded properly is going to be part of that. It's not yet, which is why I don't promise. Once it is on the tech stack correctly, I can promise, but I can't, I can't promise yet. Oh, I can open this and I just know exactly who it's from. This has got to be from Clint. And if I say it's from Clint, I think all of you know what it is. Let's find out if I'm right first. Here are bowls for Thimble and her kittens from Clint in NH. Well, Clint, thank you so much. As always, and I mean always, uh, you have sent these beautiful metal bowls for uh, Thimble and her kittens. And they are the kind of bowls that will last forever, which are great. Um, just stainless steel with a little rubber ring around the bottom so they don't slide around. Perfect to throw into the dishwasher uh, all day long, forever. I I am just I have become the biggest fan of stainless steel uh, in the kitchen. Like I think if I could have an entire stainless steel kitchen, like some people do, like people who are like real, like I'm bringing the the workplace kitchen home. Uh, you know, you get those those gleaming stainless steel counters and things. Uh, I would do that in a heartbeat if I, if I could get it. We couldn't do it here. It wouldn't look right. Uh, but I think that's wonderful. And then you can just like spray down the floor. If you even like a kitchen where you can spray down the floor and you've got the, the grates in the floor like they do in a professional kitchen. Oh, man, that would be so nice. Uh, anyway, stainless steel is great. Uh, I, you know, I can't have the kitchen, but I can. I've been buying more and more, um, you know, kitchen stuff that I can use because that's, that's, it, it lasts, cleans easy. You know that it's not just clean, but sterile, you know, like you can really get it good. So uh, I love it. Those bowls are, are perfect as always. Uh, Going to be fantastic for these kittens to take with them uh, for life. So that is fantastic. So... It's, you know, it's wonderful for you to have been able to, to keep up with that for so long. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's like these two wrestling in the tent behind me. I wish you could see it, but you can't. I'll just take a picture. They're looking at me like, what are you? Maybe I'll take a picture. They stopped wrestling to look at me. But you can tell what they were doing. All right. Did I share the, the picture on Discord yet uh, that I took of their mom upstairs just before I came down here? I don't think I did. Let's send that up too. Here we go. <laughs> One more from this morning while I'm at it. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, let's keep rolling. What do we got? We got Laura, Kitten Fan, Cahoots, and Kahooligans. 
All right, well, let's see here. It's just, I was just looking for a, uh, a post date, but that's okay. Uh, Laura Kitten Fan Cahoots and Kahooligans. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, something fuzzy. Oh, I think this is drop shipped also from, yes, Mickey's Pet Supplies. Uh, so that's why, ooh, because uh, they've got the classics. Uh, they get the Rosie the Rat kind of stuff. And so, yes, I can see some. Oh, and lamb chops. Look at that. Those are so cute. We've seen those a few times here. Uh, I think the first one was because uh, Elsie used to play with that giant lamb chops, and somebody sent a small one for, was it Ari to have? Hi, Ari. Was it your little lamb chops because you were Elsie's best friend? Ah, oh, good times, good memories. Okay, uh, well, you can see what we've got in here. We've got some classic toys, the lamb chops. We've got the fun tubes. We've got the springs. we got these beautiful catnip uh, kickers that have real feathers and real fur, four of them, and they're lovely colors, too. Wow, those are beautiful. And a bag of four tiny rosy rats. I think they need to rename those to rosy mice because um, these ones are like the three-inch long versions where the original rosy rats were much bigger. Not that these aren't every bit as fun, uh, much more practical size. Uh, anyway, they still call it the original Rosie Rat. I'm not sure that it is, but uh, there's a note here as well. And the note says, oh, uh, thanks for choosing Mickey's. Use code TREATS5 for 5% off your next order. Okay, uh, TREATS5 is the code. Uh, I can't give you the catnip, Maggie, but I can give you the wildly natural salmon cat treat uh, samplers that they have sent us. Uh, it says Fruitables, wildly natural salmon cat treats. I don't know about putting the Fruitables brand name on that, but okay. Right over here. Hey, try those. All right, do you want a couple? There's only a couple of more here. Here you go, buddy. I, don't, I know you're probably smelling the catnip, but this is what you get, okay? All right. Oh, those do have a strong smell to them. So, uh, like I said, on the outside, though, it says Laura Kitten Fan, Cahoots and Kahooligans. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be an actual note on the inside. Oh, here we go. For Thimble and Tiny Tubs, Thimble gets the kickers, uh, the rat only. The tubs also get the springs and tubes. Thank, uh, enjoy from Laura Kitten Fan. I'm sorry, Custard, you were too slow. The treats are entirely gone. Uh, so... Thank you so much, Laura Kitten Fan. These are great for them. I will just put these right over in the endowment box. I love the little lamb chops, especially. Lots of good memories there. Here we go. Not just of the lamb chop show, of course, that song. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I specifically mean the song that never ends. That's where that was from, right? Okay, I don't need to get into it because then I, I'll never, they'll never stop. You know, there were those people that started singing it, uh, not even knowing what it was. I suggest you all look it up. Uh, yeah. Okay, another box here. Is there anything on the outside to tell us? Oh, it's already covered up. Okay, well, let's find out. Look out there, Custy. I'm sorry, bud. Okay, I'm glad there's only one box after this because I'm starting to get. Uh, Feeling this uh, a little bit. So, okay. Whoa, fancy piece of broth. D Dr. DJ, Mr. A, kittens and faculty. Lots of stickers. Okay to read on stream. Read first. Okay, let's do it. I'm not kitten. I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. And the little cat's on it playing with their yarn. Oh, oh, look at that. A little tiny piece of art and it's beautiful. Wow. Hmm. Well, let's see. It's a, it's a cat that uh, looks like Ari wearing a, a hat and sweater outside in the snow. It's perfect for today. It looks exactly like the outside does today. I have to be very careful because this is wonderful. And I don't want, say, Maggie or this little one who's about to bite the card to put their own stamp on art. Oh, inside it says, and I'll love you forever. Aw. Okay, there's also a note here. Dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're all staying warm. I hear the weather's been pretty brutal for the winter. It's actually been very mild for us so far. Um, we've just had a couple cold snaps, one snow. This would be our second snow that might stick if it does, so we'll see. Uh, here in Florida, we're enjoying a nice weather with a bit of rain. It's also that time of year. 
Girl Scout cookies. Are there kids selling Girl Scout cookies in your neck of the woods? I was at the store and I saw some girls selling them. I just bought a bunch for friends of mine. The yummy. I love the Thin Mints and won't try anything else. Can't mess with a classic, right? Uh, so, yeah, when it comes to Girl Scout cookies, I haven't seen any kids come door to door for those in, in ages, actually. Uh, maybe since Illinois. Uh, but we got to buy a whole bunch of Girl Scout cookies when we went to vote in November. Uh, there was a Girl Scout who had very cleverly set up uh, directly outside of the polling place. So when you left, there was a big table of Girl Scout cookies right after you voted. And I'm like, I need some of those. Uh, and so DJ always gets the Samoas because they've got some caramel and that's good. Um, and uh, there was a new one that I tried that I really liked, uh, but now I can't even remember what it was. Uh, it was it was entirely new, I think, this year, though. Uh, so I'm sure all of you know exactly what it is. Um, but uh, it's not, I just, it's not going to come to mind. Um, hmm. All I remember is that I liked it. I had to try it and I liked it. So... Uh, that's all I got. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Thin Mints. I know the Thin Mints are everybody's favorite. Um, but to me, uh, they've always been kind of like, uh, minty Oreos that are sort of missing the filling or something. I don't know. They are covered in chocolate, so they got like that going for them. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. Uh, do you do anything for Valentine's Day? Do the cats and kittens get special treats? Do they even notice anything different from the various holidays? So, uh, yeah, if you were watching, um, we don't normally do much, but we did put out a bunch of uh, Valentine's-related stuff that I've already cleaned up, except for the toys. There's a bunch of little Valentine's toys around that are they're just going to continue to play with them, and they'll get uh, you know sort of tossed eventually, I guess. Um, is it just me to the holidays come to the store earlier every year? When I went to the store, there was Valentine's Day things, and I saw Easter, too. Wow, are there holidays that DJ has in India? A friend of mine is visiting family. It looks like there's lots of temples to visit. Instead of New Year's, I think they celebrate Diwali. I do think, I don't know when the dates of any of the Indian holidays are at all. Uh, I do think Diwali is sometime around, um, around New Year's, like you say. Uh, and uh, that is one that I know that DJ's family participates in because I've been there uh, during that. They just put out little lamps and stuff. Uh, it's not, you know, none of it seems like it's commercialized or, um, you know, or, or, you know, there's not a lot that happens in advance for most of those things. Uh, but they're still really big on the day of, you know, on Diwali, everybody's got the little lights out. Uh, Pungal is another holiday that I've been there for, and Pungal also the name of the dish that you serve during that holiday, which is uh, if you almost if you think like uh, mashed potatoes except made out of uh, mashed rice instead. It's got so much butter in it. It's like just butter and rice, and usually like there's some whole pepper in there. Um, it's really good. Um, but uh, you can also get it even fancier than that, where they put like cashews and other stuff in it. Uh, it's, it's, DJ's actually been making, I think there's some in our fridge right now. DJ's made a lot of pungal lately. Um, but it's also a holiday that lasts, like, I want to say it lasts four days. And there's one, I think it's pungal. I could be confusing with another holiday. I hope I'm not. Um, but there's one of the four days where everybody takes sort of their, it's supposed to be like getting rid of the old, you know? And so what they do to, to celebrate that part of it is they take basically all their trash in the street and burn it. And at night, the entire town is just on fire. And there's so much smoke and flames everywhere. It really looks like a, like a post-apocalyptic scene because it's dark. Everything's just lit by fire. There's thick smoke. Uh, and it's it's... Yeah, again, it, it looks it looks like there's been an apocalypse and the city is burning down. Um, but it's part of this holiday and it's actually, it's very cool. I loved it. I don't think I got any photos that, that did it justice, but it was quite an experience. Uh, and then, of course, you, uh, you eat pungal, which is, uh, that's great stuff. And, uh, oh, and also, um, in, in at least in DJ's part of India, um, they, they do a little sort of like a chalk it's, so you're supposed to use rice flour to make it. These days, a lot of them use chalk. Uh, rice powder is still the, the traditional way to do it, though, um, where you basically do a little drawing on the sidewalk outside of your house, 
And uh, during Pungle, they, you know, all year long, they do this. Every day you're supposed to have one out there. And then at the end of the day, you're supposed to wash off the rice powder. And then in the morning, you draw a new one every day. Um, and DJ's family participates in that, at least when we're there. Her mom goes out every morning and washes the sidewalk and then makes a new one using rice powder. Um, but uh, they're called a column, by the way. K-O-L-A-M is the thing I'm talking about. And during Pungal, they make elaborate ones, not just the regular everyday one, but they'll use all kinds of colors and they'll do little drawings. And uh, So, yeah, uh, that's, that's one of my favorites when I'm there. Uh, okay. Uh, also, uh, just cause how many mama cats, kittens will the household, oh, just curious, how many mama cats, kittens will the household at a time? Plus you have faculty also, is it hard to keep track of everything? You must have a system, right? I wouldn't say that I have any sort of formal system, uh, and we're always setting new records. So who knows? I don't know what the record number of mom cats we've had at a time is, but you know, we've got two rooms right now that are basically spare. And I like to keep them that way. Uh, but, you know, if there were ever like an emergent need, uh, we would be all ready for that. Sometimes cat, mom cats get backed up a little bit, too. It can sometimes take them longer to get adopted. And we like to keep them here while we're waiting for that. So sometimes those extra rooms are needed just for that. Uh, hopefully you have time to enjoy the snow and make snow people. Have you made any snow kittens? Is such a thing even possible? On to the box of stuff. All right, here we are. It's not a lot of things, but I'm sure they will like it. Kittens got to get their treats somehow. So we have, uh, first off, on top, we have uh, these this treats. It's a fancy piece cloth. And we have tissue for a tissue for a future. Oh, and pink tissue also. And then we have some pink tissue that was used. To, oh, there is a little fat sparrow. There's a little fat sparrow that was just sitting right there on the porch. And Maggie ran up and it flew off. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Treats for all, food stuff for kittens, maybe cats, tissue paper for all, art for DJ, uh, old college classmate does art that sent art to you previously to you from me. Uh, anything else not on the list can be used as you see fit. Thanks for all you do love. Karen, Karen, thank you so much. I think that I just, I put the art in this box, right? I hope. Yes, I did. So, uh, I'll find it later and it won't get put away with the cards or anything. Um, I think that goes there. Okay, so uh, you have sent Karen. Uh, we've got the greenies. These are great. Uh, the greenies, actually, I've been keeping bags of those next to our bed because they are the, the treat of choice right now around here. We, we vary from time to time, you know, uh, but these are the ones that these kids all get to have some of, and I think Maggie can even smell them through the bag. Uh, you sent Sheba pate in chicken and salmon flavors. Very nice. You sent the delectables bisque and stew uh these we tend to go to these quite a bit when we're trying to get mom cats to eat and they're very useful for that but they also make just good plain old treats and then finally uh the box stuffed with extra cans of fancy feast classic pate perfect and oh yes one cistern hi so uh karen thank you so much for the tissue and all the food for the kittens the uh, wonderful note that let me talk about india for a few minutes i really appreciate it and um, and the art, of course, the art is lovely. So thank you very, very much. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting all the food in this box. And then uh, for now, we're going to move on to the last box so we can wrap this up today. Oops. Here we go. Out of the way. Here, I know where I can put this, don't I? Look at that. Perfect. Maggie, what are you digging for in there? I think she can still smell that this is the envelope that's got those plastic bags that those treats came out of. I think she can still smell the treats on it. She's trying to get more, but there aren't any more, Maggie. You have them. You have them. This is why it's so important to throw this stuff out uh, and, and safely. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up with cats digging around in it. Custard, I need this box you're on, buddy. It's the last one. Come on. If I can get through this stuff to the box here. Come on. Trust me, I need that box pal. Here, I also need that. I'm going to sit on my knees now. Oh, this bear. Buddy, you know what? You make a better cat cushion than a me cushion. Right on up there. Okay, let's see. This last box. 
Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen a box that was uh, no return address. It, I don't even know if it said Kitten Academy when they sent it. Just our address, and then Kitten Academy got handwritten on by somebody. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, it made it to us. That's what counts. Let's find out what we got here. Red and Post. Ooh. Oh, wow. Nice knit blankets in here. Knit crochet. Oh, my goodness. Why am I doing this again? Ah. Okay. Oh, wow. It's heavy, too. Oh, packed in there. Look at that. Uh, and it's literally vacuum sealed. Look at those. Those are two blankets. There's one with these wonderful gray tones. This with the purple, the pink, and the white. They are beautiful. Look at that. Oh, and two different patterns, I guess, too. This almost looks like cats. I think it is. Is this cats? Oh, this one has them too. Look at that. Those are so cool. They are cats. What a cool pattern. Do you see that? Little cat pattern. Brilliant. Uh, there is a note here in the corner, so let's see. Aww. This is so cute. It says, to Mr. A and Dr. DJ from Tanya with a J's mom. Whoa, I think this might be the first time that we've had like a mom and daughter duo that didn't, you know, just send everything together where where, uh, where they do that uh, separately. That's so sweet. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I volunteer at our local senior center and teach the knitting and crochet class. Wait, you teach them both in one class? This has not helped my confusion over which thing is knitting and which thing is crochet. Um one of my gals taught me a new stitch that I knew Tanya would love, so I made her a beautiful Afghan blanket for Christmas. She loved it and knew you would, too. So I've been working on these for you. Tanya picked the colors for you, Mr. A, and I picked DJs. I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoyed making them for you. Once you unpack them, see if you can tell what animal the pattern is. Love, Norma. Well, Norma, uh, you raised a wonderful daughter, and these are amazing blankets. Thank you so much. What a great thing to end today's mailbag on. And uh, I was just going to leave them in, but let's take a look at uh, what I want to do. I'm going to assume that they are the same pattern, and I don't want to try to fit them both back in the bag for now, but I want to put your note in with them so that when I take them out and figure out where to put them, uh, we'll have that note right there with them to remind us. It's, they're so wonderful. Wow, you must be uh, really good at this, too. They're, like, perfectly square. Uh, oh, they accidentally included the yarn. It's Premier uh, Just Yarn brand. All right, cool. Um, I don't know if that was accidental or on purpose, actually, but there you go. Look at that. It really is the cutest little cat print. <laughs> They're adorable. Uh, wow, I, don't, I mean, Stitch, I, yeah, I don't know how you, uh, I can tell uh, how much practice that you have had. Because um, I know whenever I've tried this sort of thing, one of my problems is uh, keeping exactly the, the same sort of um, tension all the way through. And if you don't do that, making something that's this perfectly square is impossible. I mean, you just you cannot do it. Um, and so this, this takes so much uh, practice and skill to be able to do it and have it come out so perfectly over such a large size as well. Uh, they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. You've even got your own little tag sewn in the corner made especially for you by Norma. That is so sweet. Uh, Norma, that is, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for the blankets. And if I may, thank you so much for Tanya. And uh, Tanya, thank you so much uh, for, for uh, participating and for sharing it with your mom. That's so sweet. Okay, uh, let's see. I, now I, I won't be able to pack this back in here in any sort of meaningful way. That's okay. I'll, just, I'll do my best. And then, there we go. All right. Uh, there we go. That way I can kind of keep those. I've got to find a way to sort of keep those together, I think. Let's see what we can do. Um, wow. Uh, Norma, thank you very, very much. I can't wait for DJ to come home and see these. She's out. She's working all weekend. You know you know how it is. As a doctor, um, she sometimes works extremely long hours, and they've got her scheduled all weekend, and she's just staying at the hospital. 
So I don't think I'm even going to see her until uh, probably tomorrow night. But that's okay. Uh, you know, we're really used to that. I, I know some people would have a lot of trouble with that sort of thing in their relationship. But uh, we've been dealing with stuff like that for a long time. And uh, it's, it's just, you know, we're, we're used to it. That's just how you do. So uh, I think that's it for Mailbag. Thank you so much to everybody for everything. I'm going to leave the archive running while I get all this stuff put away. And then I'll say goodbye one more time and we'll wrap it up. But for now, I'm going to be carrying stuff in and out. i got to figure out what to do. I don't know if the, the post office is just going to let me deliver this back to them now that I opened it. I guess I'll find out. Or, uh, or else tell Ann she should stop by to pick it up this time. I don't know how far she'd have to go, though. So all I know about her is that she's got a, uh, a post office box in town. For all I know, she could live anywhere. Oh, this is the, the clip that goes on that vacuum bag. Look at that. We use this one. Perfect. These bags are so handy. I put our, our old mattress in one uh, to store it downstairs. Those vacuum bags are very cool. Oh, Peely Doakley, time to get this stuff put up. Thank you so much to everybody again, and here we go. All right. Yep. Yep, and Adam. Yep. Long way up. All right. I should mention, I still don't know for sure that it was the alumni that signed us up for the Atlas Coffee, but uh, this month the coffee was Brazil. They just tell you a place, really. It's hard to know, you know, how accurate that is as far as determining what you like or whether it's useful or not. But oh man, it was good. I think I just used the last of it this morning. Really yummy. So thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, let's see. This has got to go downstairs. I think the tr treats are going to go downstairs for now. And uh, let's see. We usually send the cards down that way for a while. So let's separate those out. No, this is going to stay. This is going to go. Oh, we got to get my stickers in the book out, though. There we go. More stickers. More stickers. Look at that. All those stickers. Wow. I got to get around to using those. I don't know, though. How am I going to show up all the 12 year old girls if I, if I start using the stickers? I got to keep my collection up, you know. Okay. Those are there that go downstairs. Perfect. I think that's it for the downstairs trip. Seems about right. Okay.
As long as I'm running things downstairs, I think I'm going to bring down the tissue bit. I think I saw an ostrich feather down there. I think they have to replace it. I know, an ostrich feather for the entire tissue bit. Those things last five seconds, too. But they're fun for those five seconds, so. I found the note that was with these things. Lisa Four Kittens sent these uh, ostrich feathers like 2021. And we're down to the last two finally. That right there. Well, like I said, they last 10 seconds. When you put them out, they wreck these things immediately. But they're fun for that time, aren't they? Come on, buddy. Come on now. Hey. Oh, what is it? You know, hi, Maggie. What does it mean, guys? What does it mean, Peggy? Are right, you want some? Oh, okay. All right, I'm just going to leave this here now. I've got to put the rest of this stuff away. You guys can wreck this. And I know you will.
All right, guys, really did break that thing immediately. I expected to get bent before it went in half. I know, it's not going to hurt you guys if you eat this, but I don't want you to eat it. Same with that mouse. That was some short-lived fun, huh? Oh, you got me. Is that bird needed to put some bird food out? He's just sitting on the bird feeder. Is there anything in there? I can't tell from here. I guess I better go out there and fill it up though. And I could put some in the porch. Dang it, but who you feel about? Oh, well, easy for me to say. Well, let's put this up. Kids, you about ready to take a nap? You're having mom come down here and have lunch with you and take a nap? mailbag thanks again to everybody who sent everything it was wonderful for me i hope it was fun for you guys too and um yeah i guess though uh time for me to get on with my weekend so i also see something blanket change upstairs i don't know i gotta check on them anyway so about time to figure out if sport needs more food so there we go oh i see yeah fuzzy bear don't worry uh ann's package has been set aside by the back door We'll figure that one out to you. I'll send her a text message or something. Okie dokie. <clears throat> uh, how do I end this archive? Hi, bud. Hi, I know you just climbed right up me like it's nothing. I like it. All right. All right, let's go check on those kids upstairs.